hi guys welcome to pixel affair it's gobby here so today's video is about a question i was asked on instagram by um beck right so it was asked by beck Croman, and he was asking me how i would do something similar to this couple of artworks he sent to me by biru let me actually check the name biru Klaus alman right so they did this nice um works and stuff like that and you can check them on instagram and there were a couple of them but this one was the simplest and the obvious one i think it will be a bit easier to do something similar to this using um, not any serious simulation in cinema 4d right but there are other things uh, other ones like these ones here right and i think even with something like this you probably might be able to cheat it using the same technique that you are going to show in the video you are going to do right so let's actually see how we'll create something like this and cinema 4d using cinema 4d's um, volume builder and stuff so let's get in so i'm in cinema 4d and i'm using cinema 4d 2023.1 in this particular scenario but i think for the most part you should be able to do this in um i think cinema 4d r20 upwards i think but i'm using um 2023 so um this is something i quickly created um whilst i was playing around with it so let's see how we will do something like this so let me actually create a new scene and i'll create um a cockwheel like that's what i used in the video i did so a cockwheel and i'll change the teeth to like um flat and i'll go to the inlay and i'll change it to spook i'll set the spooks number to five all right and i'll adjust it a bit something like that nothing uh, fancy so this is what i use to create the um, object so now i'll put it in an extrude make it a chart of the shooter and make it something like 20 right so after it's done i'll come to the caps and i'll cheat the caps i'll actually load the caps there's this one which i like half circle so i'll just double click on it and you can see it gives us this um, bevel indented stuff right let's reduce the segment to something like 10 of the caps if you check the caps reduce it to 10 and let's actually even the core here let's change the um intermediate point to subdivide so that it's a bit smoother right and now let's simply put all of this in a remesher so that it gives us enough detail we can actually do this by coming into the caps and adding changing it to cap the caps types to um re regular grid and all of that but i usually like using the remesher so i'll come in here and i'll create a remesh i'll make the extrude the chart of the remesh and now you can see it remeshes our object right so i can simply make it okay actually let's increase the density to like something 200% mesh density to 200% and now so you can see now we have enough segments because we are going to use a vertex map to actually grow um the liquid liquidish thing around it right so now let's we can mix simply make this editable if you want to keep using you can simply duplicate it and make it this one editable or if you are using some for the you can just uh, um, right click and add um, vertex map to it straight but in this case i just want to make it editable so to make it um, what we are going to use is the vertex map which will grow around our object right so it's simple i just right click and come into up the other tags and i add a vertex map to this i have a tutorial on here that explains this whole process of vertex map and everything and i'm going to do similar in this case so I'll, in the vertex map i'll make sure of use fields is checked and I'll actually come in here and I'll create a spherical field, right? So you can see we have a spherical field on top of our freeze layer. Let's we can leave the, leave the freeze layer in this in here for now, actually. So I'll select the spherical field and I'll move it on the side somewhere here because we want it to start growing from somewhere here, right? So maybe at frame ten, we can set a keyframe at this position for the vert, uh, spherical field, and at frame zero can move it on the side it doesn't want it you don't want it to show so when you hit play you can see at frame 10 it comes in and then let's select the vertex map freeze and change the mode let's clear it first in case of anything and change the mode from none to grow so now if you hit play you can see comes in and our vertex map grows that's all we want i can select uh, come down here and let's reduce the effect strength to something like probably 20 to see what we have 
right and you take um start growing and all of that so that's basically all i want what i usually do is that when i'm cool with my vertex map and everything i usually want to bake it so i'll simply right click on our rare mesh object and i'll bake a salim bake right so that it stores the vertex map and it can scrub through and it doesn't delay us so i'll just go ahead and now it's big so we have two objects the original one which has um the vertex map and the alembic one which is big so let's select the vertex map for the original one and come to the basic and disable it so that it doesn't slow us and you can also disable the spherical field and hide even the mesh so now this is the alembic file and if you select the um vertex map on the alembic file you can see we have vertex map growing so this is what we are going to use to drive our um sort of liquid growing around our object right so to do that we are going to use volume builder and all i have to do is to come into my object volume builder i'll create a volume builder and in the volume builder actually i wouldn't make the remesh um the remesh a child of the volume builder so i select the volume builder come to the object tab and instead of making this a child of it i'll actually drag it and drop it in here so that it creates a link right so let's select the volume builder and change the voxel size to something like two yeah i think it's fine let's hide our even our lembek for now and you can see this is what we have here right and so how do we get our vertex map to be recognized in this volume builder and to do that it's as simple as that you know we can actually use fields in the volume builder right you can use fields like linear radial fields in there but we have this field that we can actually put it directly in the volume builder which we can use our vertex map through and that's the group field so i'll create a group field and i'll make the group field a child of the volume builder right and now if i select the volume builder, i can see the group field has been added all right so now if i select the group field actually let's put in the vertex map so nothing changes though but if you select the group field and now drag and drop in the alembic and um, vertex map in here right still nothing changes but now if you go into our volume builder and ch select the group field change come down here to the creation space change it from box to object below you can see now something is happening with our um, volume builder let's put the volume builder in a volume measure so i'll create a volume measure um, select the volume builder hold alt and come here and click on the volume measure to make it um, a parent of the volume builder so now you can see with our um, group field, if I disable it, you can see everything is fine. And now the group field is now showing where the vertex map is. So if I select, hide this one and bring this one up, select the vertex map, you can see where the vertex map is yellow. The group field has made our object sort of pushed up, right? And that's what we want. But we don't want it to actually push it up. We want it to reveal it. So let's hide our vertex map, um, our remesh object. You see it's pushing it up but we want it to actually sort of show only this part and hide this part so to do that all we have to do is select the volume builder and change it from union to intersect and now i can see wherever the it, it's yellow it sort of reveals it so if i scrub through the timeline you can see it's as simple as that all right so now our object is growing on all right and that's like basically the whole tutorial all right so now it's quite i think the thickness it's quite um small so let's, uh, let's bring back the remesh here um let's change the display to normal shading and let's click away so and let's actually add a material so i'll create a material I'll make this one black and i'll apply it to the remesh so that we see the difference all right so you can see this is the original object and this is the volume now it's not covering it well like that it's quite thing and that's maybe we have to reduce our voxel size and that one will help a bit but for the sake of tutorial and in this case we don't even need that much detail so what i can do is that in the volume builder i can come in here and say um choose either first of all the volume measure we can increase this and you can see it's giving us this thickness or we can leave it at 50 and select the volume builder we can add hdf dilate or an erode so if i add it you can actually make it your object thicker or you can even make it thinner 
all right so to do that like use the offset so if you increase the offset you can see it's getting thicker and if you get it to minus negative it will actually be thinner so let's set it to like probably three maybe it's fine so if we hit drag scrub through you can see it's growing and basically growing to fill our object so that's basically how to use the vertex map to grow on any object you can apply it to almost anything now after here one thing i also added was i felt you know there should be a little bit of movement because it's liquid at the air tip and stuff like that so what i did was to um i wanted to give the edge or the tip here a bit of swelliness and a bit of movement so to do that what i did was i'll go back and hide a vet, a vertex map and i'll select the remesh the map right i so i'll select the alembic remesh right click come to other tags and i can apply a vertex map to the alembic again right and i think this is only possible in i think cinema 4d 2023.1 i don't know if you can apply vertex map to alembic in previous versions though but if it works then that's fine so now we, we, i've applied another vertex map to it and i'll come to the field tab right make sure you fill this on and i'll come to the fill tab and now we will drag and drop in the first alembic map which is the uh, uh, yeah the alembic vertex map right and let's actually name this vertex map vertex map 2 so that we don't get confused so let's go to the fields and now it's now it's reading the alembic uh, the vertex map from the alembic file right so all we have to do is now select it and um, come down here to the modify layers and let's add a curve layer on top of this click and hold control to click somewhere to create an extra point of our line and now let's make drag this one down move this one up here to give us uh, oh, to give us this particular um like edge flow right it gives us this vertex map at the tip the yellow part at the tip of our um volume builder so if i bring the volume up you can see um at the tip we, we get this yellow which this thing that's what we are going to use to drive a little bit of displacement so that our object has a little bit of movement in there All right let's go back and hide these ones so now that we have this edge i mean it's too sad it disappears suddenly so if like i just scrub through it moves it disappears suddenly but i want it to leave a little bit of tree and to do that i have to add a little bit of um, delay to it or decay so i'll come into the modify layers once again and i'll create a decay right and now if i go back and hit play you can see now it doesn't disappear it takes a little bit of time in fact if i exaggerate the decay to something like 80 right and let's hit play and see it takes time before it fades away right and that's what we want so that we will use this particular vertex map to drive displacement on our volume measure so what you have to do is now let's bring back our volume builder and the mesh right and now let's add a display in the volume measure so let's come into our deformers and i'll add a displays deformer into the volume measure right let's come into the displays uh, shading let's change it from uh, click on this one to choose noise and i can see you have some noise in there let's increase the noise the global scale to probably 300 or and you can even add animation to it right so there's a little bit of animation right i mean it's not playing in real time because i'm recording and all of that it's sort of slowing my scene but basically it adds a little bit of animation and we don't want it to sort of go show the blackness so wherever it's black let's make it a bit something like 20 percent gray so that so it's gray to white right and now let's select the displays itself come to the object tab and now we can increase the size the thickness, everything so let's set it to maybe um six to uh, make it a little bit subtle you can play around with this thing and everything but you can see it's affecting the whole volume builder right and we want it to show affect only at the point where um this vertex map 
is the second vertex map we've created so to do that we just select the displacer come to the fields tab and now let's drag and drop in this vertex map and you can see now it affects only the edges um, where this vertex map is right so if i hit play i mean it will be slow but you basically get the idea right so that's basically the basic technique i use in this particular case right so now it gives us this display and we can actually even go ahead and like because like i said in 2023 you you are able to for instance create um uh vertex map on the um, generator object you can even right click on this vertex uh, volume object volume measure and come into the other tags and add a vertex map to it and that vertex map let's use this one to drive the vertex map so let's use the second vertex map to drive the vertex map of our volume measure itself right and you can see and you can also go ahead and add this place on top of it and play around with several things right so basically this um the technique or how i'll do something like this if i'm playing around with cinema 4d and i hope um, you've learned something from it and this vertex map can even help you in texturing um the, the liquid which is growing on the object right so now you can actually use at the edges use something different colors or if it's from one color or different um shades to another right so this is basically how um something like this i would do using cinema 4d and because i'm recording it's quite slow so i'll quickly bake it and show how it plays so after making it big like you can see the way it plays right um there's a little bit of um, animation in it actually what i did was let me actually um in the displacer the noise i actually in, um, reduced the global scale to 200 and i increased the animation speed to two right so that the noise is a bit faster and um, very obvious and you can see like this so you can actually play with it to see something which gives you like a feel of some liquid or anything right so that's basically how you do this and from here you can simply go ahead and texture it and add interesting materials and start to it to get what you want um i hope this video was useful and you've learned some something from it or so, uh, other techniques from it so like i said in the in this other videos you can actually use it to um so for instance let me see something you can actually use it some in that the first video that came you know to create a technique like that in that this particular scene here you can actually let it something growing and add a bit but this one looks like i don't know looks to me like a bit of simulation but if not then you can actually also use this to cheat it a little bit um i'm not sure how this was done though but then yeah this is how probably if i want to cheat using cinema 4d to do something like this that's how i'll actually do it so i hope this video was useful and you've learned something from it if there's something you still want me to further do like maybe you can go ahead and ask in the um comment section or on my instagram all right thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one